friends in the Magic Rock did as well. So I basically immersed myself in the raw road to card magic, Marlowe, you know, just the, just the, the, the traditional yeah. books. Um, <coughs> whereas you guys, what you've done, I don't even know whether you're aware of this, but you've spawned this whole generation of people. And that, because I run a magic shop, Magic Cave, and I have kids, uh, I'm not joking, like 11, 12, 13 year olds, coming to the store, and the first thing they say is, what you, what you got down in Dave? What you got down in Dave? <laughs> and, and like this, and, uh, and, 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 they, and they can do, you know, these, these incredible things, like this, this 12 year old kid did Portal amazingly to me, and I was, yeah. I was, I, I was blown away. Uh, uh, and he said, well, what have you got for me? And I said, well, let's have a look over here. Got, you like books? You see the Royal Road? And they went, the Royal, what? And they're busting out all your moves, but they don't know all this stuff. So the, the question is, like, with your, on your website, you've got things like David Williamson on the, on the double, uh, top, top change. Uh, and, and you're incorporating all these other magicians uh, using their, uh, teaching their moves. Is that is what is what you're doing possibly some kind of responsibility that you guys feel because you are starting all these people and you're saying well actually you know this this is what well there's it depends on who like how much the person is interested in. there's these kids that get into magic not knowing anything about it and at first not really caring all they're in for is the new moves the flourishes like they don't give a shit about the history and like when when we got into sports as kids or different types of you know genres of of things that kids get into, you know. At first, you don't care like yeah. who's who and who does what and who invented what. You're just yeah, you in it tricks to impress yeah, your exactly. friends and have fun. Yeah, uh, that's what a lot of this uh, new market is. It's just they're in it for a couple of years. Mm -hmm. They just want to learn some crazy stuff. It's like a sport for them. Yeah, it's just something they yeah. can consume their time. And and I've heard you guys even describe it as almost like it's, it's a visual art, almost not magic, but a visual art mm -hmm. of yeah. somewhere. Yeah, say. yeah. Yeah, definitely all the flourishing. Uh, on our tour, you know, we, we discovered a number of uh, just young guys that came to our lecture, not knowing we were only going to teach magic, but they only did flourishes. They didn't do any magic. Whatsoever. Move monkeys? No, not even move monkeys. They, they just do cardistry or flourishes. Oh, okay. They don't, they don't even do a double lift. Like, what? Yeah, they, they just want to basically juggle the cards, which is awesome. Yeah. It's really cool to see that. I think our responsibility is just to offer them the source, you know, they could do whatever they want with it. You know, it's not my decision. If, like, I'm, it's fun to practice, you know? Yeah, like performing takes just as much as a pra uh, practice as. We're, yeah, like, we're, we're a paint store, you know? An artist can buy as many supplies as they want. It's up to them to create the art. So. There's hobbyists, which is you know basically what we are. We're not professional magicians. We don't make our living performing, so to speak. That's a question. But um, like, there's a lot of kids out there who just do it because they enjoy it. You know? yeah. It's just a hobby for them. They like showing their friends. Yeah. They like practicing with their friends, fooling each other. But also with 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 the you know your style. I mean, if you take you know a, a, an ordinary card technician to go in there into a, into, a, into a booming nightclub that's dark and loud and you say okay I'll pick a card okay count give me a number between no, this, yeah, yeah, you get yeah, you guys in there showing, doing your flashy stuff and that's something you'd like to watch and here's a compliment for you last night I was watching some of your stuff on your DVDs at home and my girlfriend looked over my shoulder it's absolutely true and she said now that kind of magic I can watch for hours. <laughs> well, thanks. Um, but there you go. So you got a fan in my girlfriend. I saw I saw a great thing with you guys on YouTube. Um, uh, although I don't know whether you made it for I think it was for the Discovery Channel, but it was on something on cheating with cards. Oh yeah, yeah. With, yeah. with the Macmillan, um, the Macmillan switch. Wicked. Yeah. Switch. Could you could you show? I'd love to see you do that. Close up. You know what? That that was a weird episode. They, uh, this was for Time Warp. The show on the Discovery Channel. There it is. Sorry, just to shit money. Yeah, and we we went out and we filmed for 13 hours that day, and then you know five months later the episode airs and they bill us as like gambling experts. I know nothing about. Well, look, man, you came off as them in that. The I, I guess it worked, but I was like, but it's funny because we had no idea that's how they were gonna that, edit it together. Oh really? Yeah. We did a lot of tricks, a lot of flourishes. Um, we did uh, the anti pharaoh at 2,000 frames a second, right. so, which was really cool because the host of the show is a, is a scientist, he's a physicist, I think, and he actually understood exactly how it worked. Just by Dan showing him, he, he explained
explained wow. exactly how it worked. He knew that we were shooting two cards off as one. Yeah. Because of the friction of the top card, it slides slightly forward. So he basically told us that theoretically, you can do it with uh, any number of cards. So you can have two and two, or three and three, which is really interesting. Yeah. It's too bad they didn't air the footage because I know a lot of magicians would be interested in seeing that. Yeah. But luckily we have the footage. Cool. We're not allowed to oh, air really? to put it out, but I think someday, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, after the show is long done with, we'll, we'll get their permission to. Yeah. To oh, good. Cool. Great, so we'll look out for further upcoming stuff from you guys and workshops you got. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, my pleasure. Yeah. Hope you've enjoyed it.